you are all welcome once again to the hour of solution this night is going to be a great night in the name of Jesus this week has been a, a challenging week for our country Nigeria Personally, it has been a challenging week for me, seeing the loss of lives, the precious souls that died an untimely death. But at this time, our prayers and our heart is with those that have lost loved ones and valuable properties. pray that the Lord will console those that are grieving at this time. Pray that the Lord will encourage those that are mourning on, on, uh, at this time. Once again, our prayers, our hearts, is with those that are mourning at a time like this in Nigeria. We are praying that the peace of God will prevail in our country, Nigeria. The wind of peace, the wind of calmness will blow in our country, Nigeria, in Jesus' name. Like as I said, personally, as a servant of God, this week has been a challenging week for me. I've been battling to control my tears, to control my emotion, seeing those horrible sights and seeing those precious souls that met their untimely death. I will pray that the Lord would divinely intervene so that peace will reign in our nation and peace will reign in our great nation Nigeria in Jesus' name. This night is going to be a special night. The Lord is going to visit us in a mighty way. Even though it's a challenging time for us as, uh, 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 as a person and as a country, but this night is the hour of solution. And at a time like this, we need solution. We need divine help for ourselves, for our lives, for our country, Nigeria. Wherever you are viewing this uh, program tonight, don't forget, this is the Hour of Solution, a prayer-based program. And this night, the glory of the Lord will come down. The power of the Most High God will visit us this night. Whichever part of the globe, part of the world, you are connected to this live program, the Hour of Solution. Get ready. The Balm of Gilead will visit us tonight. The power of the Lord will touch us tonight. The balm of Gilead will heal us tonight. We heal every broken heart tonight. The balm of Gilead will visit us tonight. The anointing that breaks the yoke will be made manifest tonight in the name of Jesus. Get ready. The Lord is here to visit us. The Lord is here tonight to touch us. The Lord is here tonight. To wipe away our tears. The Lord is here tonight to break every yoke, to break every fetters. And during this hour of solution, there will be solution to every challenges by having in the name of Jesus. Let's have a word of prayers. Mighty God, we want to thank you for the gift of life. We want to thank you for another opportunity of coming before your presence. For this life program, the hour of solution. God, at this time, our heart and our prayers is with the people of Nigeria, a great country. And Lord, we are praying and we are asking that the wind of peace will blow upon the country of Nigeria. And every commotion, every tension, every killings. Every looting, 
every terrible things going on, the wind of the peace of God will blow. And let there be peace in a great nation, Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. I want to use this time to pray for as many that are grieving at this time, many that are sorrowful, that have lost loved ones, breadwinners, many that are weeping and crying at a time like this because of the devastations, because of the loss. Lord, at this time I pray, the balm of Gilead will comfort the hearts of your people in the name of Jesus. I pray that, O oh God, the peace of the Lord, the peace of the Lord, the peace of the Lord will be made manifest in every state in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, this night is the hour of solution. We look up to you that your glory will come down. The anointing that breaks every yoke will come down. The anointing that delivers will come down. The anointing that heals will come down. The anointing that does the impossible will come down tonight in the name of Jesus. The heavens will open tonight. The power of the Lord will be made manifest tonight. The glory of the Lord will visit, O oh Lord, your people tonight in the name of Jesus. As many that are connected to us at this time, to this live program, from any part of the world, Lord, I pray and I ask, your power will touch every viewer. Your anointing will touch every viewer. There will be healings tonight. There will be deliverances tonight. There will be open doors tonight. There will be answers to prayers tonight. There will be signs and wonders tonight. Oh Lord, you will move in a mighty way tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Once again, I welcome every viewer to this powerful program, The Hour Solution. And like as I said, our hearts and our prayers at this time is with the, the, the people of Nigeria. There's many that are hurting at this time. As many that has lost loved ones, valuables. My prayer as a servant of God, as a pastor, as a minister of the, of the Lord, my prayer is that the Lord will console them and replenish everything that has been lost in terms of a, a properties and all that. I will pray that the Lord will give us peace in the land. Across our nation, Nigeria, the Lord will give us peace in the name of Jesus. Tonight is a special night. Don't forget, this is the hour of solution, a prayer-based program. And the Lord is here tonight to visit us. The Lord is here tonight to answer our prayers. The Lord is here tonight to console us. The Lord is here tonight to deliver us. And this night, before we pray, I'll be speaking to us on the topic, the balm of Gilead. I'll be speaking to us tonight on the topic, the balm of Gilead. Our topic tonight is the balm of Gilead. And I have no doubt, the balm of Gilead will manifest this night in the name of Jesus. The balm of Gilead will make manifest tonight in the name of Jesus. A text is taken from the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 8. We read verse 21 and verse 22. Jeremiah chapter 8. We read verse 21 and verse 22. Don't forget, this is the hour of solution. And this night, the Lord is going to visit us. The Lord is going to touch us. The Lord is going to comfort us. The Lord is going to heal us. The balm of Gilead will be made manifest this night in the name of Jesus. And whatever is your challenge at this time, whatever is a fairy furnace that is burning in your life, burning in your family, this night, the balm of Gilead 
will be made manifest in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, I said our topic is the balm of Gilead. The balm of Gilead. And the text is taken from the book of Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 21 and verse 22. For the heart of the daughter of my people and my heart, I am black. Astonishment has taken hold on, on me. Verse 22. Is there no balm in Gilead? Why is my situation like this? Is there no balm in Gilead? Why am I still in this condition? Is there no balm in Gilead? Why am I not healed? Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? I've been praying. Why am I still in this condition? Why am I still in this situation? Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? This has been an age-long question in the hearts and mouth of many. Same perplexing question a lot of people are asking today because of their continual suffering, a continual bondage their pain and their hearts. Are you in a situation, in a condition? Are you in a difficult situation that has made you to ask, is there no God? Is God not seeing my affliction? When will I be delivered and be free from this sickness? from this bondage and captivity to the enemy. Why is my situation like this? Why am I still in bondage? Why is the enemy still oppressing my life? Why am I not still healed? I have been praying. I have fasted. Why am I still in this situation? Why this? Why that? Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there a physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? That has been the question that many have been asking. But this night I want to announce to every viewer Jesus is the balm of Gilead. The power of God is the balm of Gilead. And I want you to hear me this night. There is still balm in Gilead. Yes. There is still balm in Gilead. That why question doesn't change that. Certainly, assuredly, there is still balm in Gilead. And Jesus is the balm of Gilead. The power of the Most High God is the balm in Gilead. That anointing and authority that breaks every yoke, that destroys every satanic activity, is still available today. There is still balm in Gilead. You need not to lose confidence in God. You need not to lose confidence because of what you are passing through. You need not to lose confidence because of that sickness that is still lingering in your life, lingering in your health. I want to announce to us tonight, there is still balm in Gilead. And if you have been asking that question, why this, why that, why, why, why? I want to announce to you, I want to proclaim to you, there is still balm in Gilead. 
the God has said, I have seen the affliction of my people and I've come down to deliver them. He still delivers today. Do you know that God still heals today? He still answers prayers today. The balm of Gilead is still potent and powerful today. He said, I am God. I change not. He does not change. God does not change. Despite that situation that have lingered in your life, despite that situation that has refused to go, God said, I am God. I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. God does not change. And it can never change. And whatever is your situation, maybe you, you, you've been asking questions, why is my life like this? Why is my situation like this? Why am I still under the oppression of the enemy? Why has my health refused to recover? Why has situation refused to change for me? Why am I still under this bondage, under this captivity? Is there no bam in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? That's a perplexing question. That's a question that many have been asking. By the virtue of my ministry and by privilege, as a servant of God, as a pastor, I've been opportuned to attend to a lot of people in counseling and prayers. And I've been confronted with this question severally by people and saying, why? Why is this? When will I come out of this situation? Why has this problem lingered in my life? Invariably, what they are saying is, is there no bam in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? And I want to announce to you tonight, there is still bam in Gilead. The anointing that breaks the yoke is, is still potent. God still heals today. God still delivers today. There is still bam in Gilead. God has not changed. God can never change. God will never change. There is still balm in Gilead. And remember tonight before we pray, I'm speaking to us on the topic, the balm in Gilead. Jesus is that balm in Gilead. The power of the Lord is that balm in Gilead. The power of the Lord is still potent. And whatever is your situation that has made you to ask why, why and why, this night, the balm in Gilead, the anointing that breaks every yoke, the power of the Lord, the great power of the Lord will deliver you this night in the name of Jesus. And anywhere you are watching this live program, you should not give up on life. You should not give up on that your situation. There is still balm in Gilead. The Lord still heals today. The Lord still delivers today. Are you in the lion's den? The balm of Gilead will deliver you tonight. Are you presently in the burning fairy furnace? And the fire of that challenges is burning in your life. The fire of that problem is burning in your life. And it appears as God forgotten me. This night, the balm of Gilead will set you free. Are you sick and incapacitated? The balm of Gilead will heal you tonight. I've seen people say over and over, I've done this, I've done that. This sickness has lingered. There is still balm in Gilead. And whatever is that sickness that has lingered, the power of the Lord will touch you tonight in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, this is the hour of solution, a prayer-based program. And tonight, every yoke will be broken. Every infirmity will be destroyed. 
I under the captivity of the enemy, under the oppressive power of the wicked world. And you are asking, where is God? Is there no bam in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then has God allowed me to remain in this position? This night, I want to announce to you, every yoke will be broken. Is your life under limitation, bondage, and demonic captivity? The bam of Gilead, that is powerful, that is potent, will break every yoke and fetters of the enemy tonight in the name of Jesus. I want to announce to you, there is bam in Gilead. I've shared my story over and over, my success story. I've been in that situation before. I know how you feel. Those people that ask questions, why me? Why this? I've been in that situation before. But the bam of Gilead showed up for me and every fetters that came against my life, every roadblock of the that came against my life. By the time I gave myself to prayers, prayers in the night, prayers in the day, prayers in the noon, the fetters of the enemy was destroyed. The balm of Gilead, the potent balm of Gilead, the powerful balm of Gilead was manifested for me. And this night, the balm of Gilead, the balm of Gilead will be manifested in your life in the name of Jesus. Are you heartbroken? Are you grieving at, at a time like this? The balm of Gilead will comfort you and make a way for you. Whatever is the problem, the balm of Gilead will touch you tonight. And those that have been asking, is there still God? Does God still remember me? Am I, am I still a creature of God? Is God not seeing what I'm going through? is still the balm of Gilead. Remember, he said, I have seen the affliction of my people and I've come down to deliver them. You laboring under the wicked Egyptian taskmasters. The Lord said, I have seen the affliction of my people and I've come down to deliver them. This night is the hour of solution. Very soon we will pray and I want you to pray tonight. There is still balm in Gilead. The Lord still heals today. The Lord still delivers today. The Lord still performs miracle today. The Lord cares about you. You need not to give up. And whatever the problem, the challenge that have lingered in your life, whatever is the situation that have lingered in your life, and you are asking that question. Is there, is there a bam in Gilead? Is there a bam in Gilead? Is there a physician there? And if there is still a bam in Gilead, if there is still a physician there, why then is not the head of the daughter of my people recovered? Why then is my situation haven't changed? This night, the bam of Gilead, the bam of Gilead, the bam of Gilead that is potent, the bomb of Gilead that changes situation, that turns around hopelessness, that delivers from oppression. The bomb of Gilead that comforts, that, that, that heals every kind of sickness. That bomb of Gilead will be manifested tonight in the name of Jesus. As a minister of the gospel, I want to announce to you tonight, there is still bomb in Gilead. And this night, the Lord will answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. The balm of Gilead will attend to you this night in the name of Jesus. Very soon, we are going to pray now. And I want you to pray this night. You have prayed before, pray again this night. You have called upon God before, call upon God this night. There is still balm in Gilead. There is still the physician there. The power of the Lord is still available. The power of the Lord is available to heal. The power of the Lord is avail available to deliver. The power of the Lord is available to roll away the stone. The power of the Lord is available to touch you. The power of the Lord is available to open the prison doors. There is still balm in Gilead. I said there is still balm in Gilead. God has not changed. He said he can never change. God has not changed. He does not change. He can never change. He has not changed. There is still balm in Gilead. 
And this night, I want you to open your mouth and begin to talk to God tonight. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God tonight. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God tonight. Is there no bam in Gilead? There is still bam in Gilead. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God tonight. This is the hour of solution. Talk to the Lord tonight. Talk to the Lord tonight. That problem, talk to the Lord about it. Is there no bam in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? If you pray this night, that yoke will be broken. If you pray this night, that will, you'll be delivered from that oppression. If you pray this night, the balm of Gilead will heal you. The balm of Gilead will deliver you. If you pray this night, there is still balm in Gilead. There is still balm in Gilead. He's still the powerful God. The Lord still heals today. The Lord still delivers today. Are you in the are you in the in the in the burning fairy furnace? And you are thinking, how can I come out of this challenge? How can I come out of this situation? There is still bam in Gilead. Are you in the lions there? And it appears as if there's no way of escape for you. Call upon the Lord tonight. Call upon the Lord tonight. There is still bam in Gilead. There is still bam in Gilead. The anointing that breaks the yoke is still available tonight. The anointing that breaks the yoke, the authority that shatters the, the chains of darkness, the fetters of captivity, is still available tonight. Pray and pray. Pray and pray. Pray and pray. Pray and pray. This is the hour of solution. There is still balm in Gilead. There is still balm in Gilead. Talk to the Lord tonight. Talk to the Lord tonight. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why? Then it's not the health of the daughter of my people recovered. But I announce to you tonight, there is still balm in Gilead. The Lord has not changed. He said, I have seen your affliction. I have seen the affliction of my people. And I have come down to deliver them tonight. Whatever is your situation, the Lord has come down to deliver you tonight. Watching this live broadcast, this live program, the our solution. The Lord has come down to deliver you tonight. Make sure you are praying where you are now. Make sure you are praying. There is still balm in Gilead. The power of the Lord is still potent. The power of the Lord is still available to deliver. The power of the Lord is still available to heal. There is still balm in Gilead. The Lord has not changed. He said, I am God. I change not. I cannot change. I have not changed. Pray tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't forget, our topic tonight is the balm of Gilead. The balm of Gilead. God still answers prayers today. God still heals today. God still delivers today. God still performs miracle today. God has not forgotten you. The balm of Gilead. Jesus, the balm of Gilead. Seize your situation. Seize your condition. And that's why I said tonight is a special night. It's a special night. The balm of Gilead. It's available tonight to change your situation. It's available tonight to run the wood that, 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 those challenges from your life. It's available tonight to put an end to that, to that oppression of the wicked in your life, the balm of Gilead. The balm of Gilead is still available tonight. You said, Pastor, I have prayed before. Pray again tonight. You said, Pastor, I don't know why my situation has refused to change. Your situation will change tonight. Because the balm of Gilead is available tonight. The anointing of the Lord is available tonight. The power of the Lord is available tonight. The glory of the Lord is available tonight. And whatever is the situation, whatever is the difficulty, whatever is your challenge, whatever is that situation in your life, I come to you as a servant of God. 
I bring the message of the Lord at a time like this. Tonight's message is a timely message. The balm of Gilead. Many are halting. Many are sorrowful. Many are under captivity. Many are saying, why me? Why me? Why has this situation refused to change? Why has these circumstances refused to change? The balm of Gilead is still available tonight. And I want you to open your mouth now and pray once again. Call upon the Lord once again. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? You pray tonight. The balm of Gilead is still available. The anointing that breaks every yoke is still available. The authority that destroys the works of the enemy is still available. The power of the Lord, the potent power of the Lord is still available to heal you tonight. Pray, pray and pray, pray and pray. This is the hour of solution. When you pray, the, the balm of Gilead will manifest. When you pray, the balm of Gilead will touch you tonight. When you pray, the balm of Gilead will show forth tonight. I have experienced that balm of Gilead. I have, I have experienced it practically in my life. And that's why through the word of the Lord and by experience, I can assuredly tell you the balm of Gilead is still available. The potent power of the Lord is still available. Pray, call upon the Lord tonight. It's the hour of solution. It's the hour of solution. A prayer-based program, call upon the Lord. Whatever is your situation, call upon the Lord. Are you afflicted? Call upon the Lord. Are you oppressed? Call upon the Lord. Are you under servitude? Call upon the Lord. Are you overwhelmed? Overwhelmed by those challenges. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. The balm of Gilead. Jesus is the balm of Gilead. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Life will come into those dead wombs. The balm of Gilead is available tonight. God said, I have seen the affliction of my people. I have seen their captivity. I have seen their frustration. I have seen their tears. I have seen their weeping day and night. He said, I have come down tonight to deliver them. Pray and pray. Pray and pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's the hour of solution. The power of the Lord is available tonight. Call upon the Lord. Wherever you are viewing this program, in Nigeria, in South Africa, in US, in Canada, in Turkey, in Asia, in any continent that you are viewing this program, the balm of Gilead is available tonight. The Lord will touch you tonight. The Lord will touch you tonight. Whatever is the problem, the balm of Gilead will touch you tonight. Are you sick and incapacitated? The balm of Gilead will heal you tonight. Are you presently passing through a, a, a challenging time? Call upon the Lord tonight. Pray! In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Very soon I'm going to pray for you. Very soon I'm going to pray for you. This message tonight is a timely message. And I want to tell you, each time I come on here, I look up to the Lord. And when I was looking up to the Lord, Lord, what will I tell your people? What will I tell your people? And the Lord told me, and the Lord gave me this word, the balm of Gilead. Tell my people, I'm still the balm of Gilead. There is commotion virtually in every part of the world. People are hurting. People are asking that same question. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is, is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Why is my situation like this? Why is my situation like this? Why has my situation not changed? And this is a timely message. This is a message of the hour. And it's because the Lord loves us. The Lord is interested in you. And that's why the Lord is giving a message like this. At such a challenging time, like this, globally. The balm of Gilead. And Jesus is that balm of Gilead. The power of the Most High God is that balm of Gilead. He's the Alpha and the Omega. And this night is going to touch you. He's going to deliver you. That situation that has overwhelmed you, the Lord is going to touch you tonight. 
as a servant of God, at times I, 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 I come across a Lord. And the burden of the people is upon my life. My privilege, I, I've been able to attend to a lot of people.